This Global Health Hackathon is focused on mental health technologies. And we are Team 21, and we're going to showcase our application. This hackathon is a very unique and distinct experiential and entrepreneurial opportunity in a student's education. It really allows students to come together from different disciplines to address real-time, real-world health problems, bringing technologies into the solutions. But nothing really exists currently. I initially just saw an email and it said it was a hackathon about mental health. That instantly grabbed my attention because I've seen a lot of my peers and myself struggle with mental health issues just throughout college especially. It's a stressful time. We have people from a business background, a computer science background, biology, public health. We all really worked to take our unique, diverse skill set, our diverse interests, and come together to really empower each other to work well together. I feel like the competition facilitates like innovation. I never built something for mental health before, so I was always like interested in how we could like integrate like artificial intelligence with mental health technologies. It is the fourth collaboration between Georgia Tech and CreateX and the Emory Global Health Institute. We want students to be able to say that they can tackle these ideas and there is a pathway for them to take it forward. The, actual needs of the, moment. the winners are able to go and come into CreateX Startup Launch to be able to pursue it and actually launch it in the market. It'll be good to see what are the ideas that the teams have come out with and how can it actually be applied in real life. How innovative and new the idea is how scalable the idea is, how useful it is to the community. And so this is the heart of the Inland Global Health Institute's mission as well as... Well, the CDC Foundation is very supportive of innovation. We're, the world's facing a lot of public health challenges, and we need to have creative, multi-sectorial solutions. Congratulations, really, to all of you. Um, congratulations to the winners. Our plan, regardless of winning or not, was to continue developing Sensei so we could um, continue our passion for this project for helping children with neuromotor disabilities.